So this first picture looks like our home tournament last year. Um, it looks like Sarah has food in her mouth, which is not a surprise with our team, always eating or talking about food. All right, so this one, um, got William, he was a senior last year. He probably liked this drive a lot. He's pretty, uh, kind of staring it down, really happy with it. And I'm pretty sure on this shot, he hit it and then saw a cute girl and then was looking back at her, as you can see. The Halloween with uh, me and my boys. Uh, John Pacey, a senior graduating this year, dressed up as Bane and lifted like 400 pounds on uh, like deadlifts or something. It was insane. So everybody took pictures of him dressed up as Bane. It was pretty classic. So here we have Andy, really big game face right there. You know, the forearms. Look at those forearms. Those are beautiful. We were actually joking the other day that he, he just loves being in the sand. The next picture looks like the first tee at conference last year. This was my first conference tournament, so I was a first man by that time, and I was really nervous. Um, but the support of my coach, like seeing her all the time in the golf course, like it makes you like calm down and play your best. And um, my coach looking super serious in her vest and sweater. It was probably like 85 degrees outside that day, and she still had all that gear on. This photo, Coach Clark and Samantha. He's definitely fun to work with. He makes it exciting every day even if we're doing you know similar stuff and and he's you know when you're maybe not playing your best he's very supportive and no it was one of those like everyone's back you know like don't everyone was watching and then it went over and then everyone just went crazy right field fence it didn't even look like it was going out it barely cleared the fence and all I remember is jumping over the fence and tackling her. This is a pretty cool photo. Last year in 2015, that was the biggest crowds we've ever gotten. And it definitely made for some exciting matches, especially like beating Furman at home. We hadn't beat Furman and since I had been there, it had been a long time, so. As a team, we were really close. Most of the time when I see my teammates in pictures, I see a uh, family, so. It's like I'm an international student, so my family is far away, so I can, I feel like at home whenever I'm with my teammates. This picture right here makes me think that the coaches are probably looking at our team like, what the heck are you doing? Uh, we get that look a lot. This one, is in a timeout um, and I think it's funny too because we must have been like it must have been a really serious moment because I feel like most of us that like aren't in at the time we're usually like dancing or something. I think I don't think we were losing at this time because Lauren Greenspoon is smiling a little bit in this photo and if she's smiling that it definitely means we weren't losing but yeah and Savannah's talking so you know we're probably getting our butts chewed out. <laughs> when I look at this I think of what an incredible last season it was. There's a close bond between each of us on the field and off the field, and this is what that photo reminds me of. We just have fun and we're close. I love this picture. This one right here, this makes me think how good our team is and how good we will be because we had them on the edge of their seats. Virginia Tech is probably one of the most fun games I've ever played in my career as a volleyball player. We freaked out. It was fun. But it was even more fun to kind of see their faces. Um, this photo is awesome photo. Uh, it's when Emily Mosley uh, scored the game-winning goal against UAB. That was just an awesome to get to celebrate with the team and one of probably the better memories I've had uh, in my collegiate career and I will never forget that moment. I really like this picture, uh, just because it has all of us holding up um, our one finger, which was one of our like team mottos this year. Um, one complete whole, one complete family, one entity. And that's what made us do so well this season. And I like that it has Coach like in front of all of us, holding the one up. The last picture is Jake running the ball against uh, Fordham, 
our coach always says that everybody's gunning for us. We have a target on our back. And you see Jake out front, and you see three guys trying to close in on him from every angle. Jake was probably one of the freakiest athletes you'll ever see. And that, like most every other team, you will be chasing him if you don't keep an eye on him. And that picture is just kind of symbolizes how we want every team to look at us and how we know every team looks at us. Is we're ahead. Now let's see if you can catch up to us, and I promise you, you won't. Yeah, this one's actually my favorite picture of Coach Gautier. This is like an iconic picture of Coach. He's telling someone how to run the race. He's probably screaming at Jessica York to put her arms down. I've had this pointed at me quite a few times, actually. Daily basis. <laughs> See him on a daily basis. This one right here, I personally like uh, the picture of our coach because this is like standard for him. He's always on the side going crazy. Probably yelling at one of us, probably Zoe. He always, uh, he always yells Zoe's whole name for some reason. And whenever you say, whenever he says his whole name, that's when you know it's about to get serious. He'll be like, Zoe, Alonzo Allen, no way. This picture, just no specific memory. Just, you know, seeing, you know, Coach McCarr right there just makes me, you know, think of the type of person he is, how good of a guy he is, and how great of a coach he is, so. And uh, this one, this picture right here probably means the most to me. This was awesome. Uh, this was our duel against Virginia. We trailed the duel by five points going into heavyweight. Uh, and it was pretty close going into the match and we had to get a pin to win. And Jared just cranked his shoulder over. It looked like it was out of socket basically. And the guy just went over, rolled and pinned. Their whole team and crowd got so quiet you could hear a pin drop. First thing I see when I see this picture is uh, I'm back here and you can't see my face, so whoever took this picture, no respect for you. Uh, let's see, wanna, okay, this one is right after we won SoCon. Um, for Red, it was her fourth SoCon win, um, so we're holding up the four. Eric finally got himself a championship and I'm happy for him. You know, he's holding the trophy in the middle. Uh, this was a great moment. Um, we knew we were be, we'd be going to NCAA tournament. This was a uh, a year full of a lot of adversity and um, challenges we had to overcome. So this moment was really sweet to just finally reach that point. It was kind of like a breath of fresh air. I wish a photo from our practices had been on here. Our greatest moments probably at practice or in the locker room together. On the court as well, like there's a lot of times in practice, people don't see uh, things in practice that happen. Um, Coach Foster tells one of his <laughs> bad jokes <laughs> and we all just kind of look around and we're laughing. It's like middle of practice. All of our great dance moves. I know my teammates would say that they love my dance moves, but. Just those poor long runs and uh, hard runs that we would do just really seemed to uh, build us not only as individuals, but as a team. I think everything outside of games, like practice and in the weight room and everything outside of that is who we are. You know, our greatest moments are the moments that nobody ever sees because it's just with us.